Okay, this is the Skywatcher Flex Tube 250p Datsunian reflector, and I'm using the Teleview Ethers 8 millimeter. And I can see so many details, and uh, really enjoying it. I used previously the uh, HDC APM 20 millimeter one. 100 degree. These are 100 degree telescopes. Really, eyepieces. Really amazing views. So I'm really enjoying this, and there's so many details. It's not yet at the level of what I could see with the mid uh, ETX 200, the wispy nebulosity. But uh, if my eyes get used to it, probably I can see more. This is 10 inch, that was 8 inch. The only issue with the Teleview ethers and this is that this 2 inch uh, ver um, adapter it will not come f into focus with the two inch adapter, so I had to move the eyepiece a little bit higher, then it comes to focus. I didn't have that problem with the APM, so that's a plus point for the APM. I want to show what I'm using for putting my eyepieces here. You can get a bomb bag, but uh, it's, it was easier. I saw in the Aldi they had this, um, or little, was it little? Yeah, this kind of builder's bag that you put your tools in it. Really handy, really nice. So I'm now going to change to the HTC 20mm, APM HTC 20mm. Okay, if you ask me which of these two I would prefer, uh, HTR 20 and uh, Teleview 8, 8mm uh, ethers, I can see the same detail as I saw in the ethers with this APM. That actually t tells volumes. Uh, I've not collimated this telescope, this uh, mirror of this telescope, so practically it's not collimated. But I can split uh, all the components of the Sigma Orionis with this eyepiece, within this telescope. That's really good, that's really amazing. The level of the details I can see in the Orion Nebula M42, the wispiness in the clouds with this 20mm uh, APM 100 degree one is unprecedented. I never saw anything like that in any photograph. Photographs are usually overexposed practically. You, you may see some of these things in uh, sketches that people draw, observers draw, but uh, uh, most of the things you, you miss it if you just rely on photographs. I can say that this is amazing. It can take the whole nebula from and uh, those patches above and below it. M87, I think one of them is. All in the same field of view. Zeta Orionis, I can see Zeta, uh, Sigma Orionis and uh, Al Nitag. And, believe it or not, uh, Horsa Nebula in the same field of view.